I've been streaming a bunch this week. Um, it's just been kind of convenient to do that because I've got stuff that's kind of amenable to that. So um, one thing that I do a lot of is bulk operations over content. And uh, what that looks like is, how would I put it? So, <laughs> of course, my test corpus is my own website because, of course, you know, I'm not going to show you client stuff. Um, although the biggest thing I've done is 12,000, something like that, pages. And that's not including like an additional like 20,000 PDFs or something like that which of course I don't touch because <laughs> PDFs cost extra. Um, yeah, so I mean in this case, uh, what I wanna do is I'm making metadata for the site. I wanna be able to pinpoint sub document unit, so like I've been taking everything. The first thing I did this week was take um, like everything that can be remotely considered like a block or a section. Uh, so um, the section element. Um, well, no, sorry. Zero back. Uh, zoom back here for a second and consider that. Um, I have content on my site that goes back to like 2008 or something like that prior to the implementation of HTML5 section elements. Well, no, HTML5 section elements have been around forever, but they have not like, you know, I think it took forever for like the browsers to, to rec like all of them, like IE in particular. And of course, IE is not an issue anymore, but in 2008, it absolutely was. And... Uh, so yeah, uh, I didn't have sections, I had divs, and I didn't have figures, I had divs, and I didn't have uh, asides, I had block quotes, uh, you know, and I was using classes and whatever, so like, one of the things that I did was transform, I don't know, I think it ended up being like 500 of the, of the 800 or so pages, um, and modernize the markup, so that was one thing that I did, and then I wrote a little scripty poo to rip through those and then any section, figure, table, uh, what else? Section, figure, table, article, even though I never use article because it's sort of implicit. Um, and form, I think. Added those, created those, um, gave them all IDs. So the, the IDs are a compact UUID format that I've invented a few years ago. It's a, uh, because UUIDs, you can't fit them. You can't put them into uh, certain grammar productions because a lot of the time they start with numbers. Um, and so you either have to do something dumb, uh, like append a prepend, a, you know, like a letter to them to make sure that they will always, or, of course, then the, they got to be a letter or an underscore or whatever, so then it's going to be like, it's a whole thing, uh, sort of ad hoc. Or you do what I did, and you represent the UUID as a base64, and you do some manipulation to it and sh to ensure that it always starts with a, with a letter. And so that's, um, I did a sort of internet draft RFC thing for that. Anyway, so the idea was just to pick those up on the other side and use those as, as UUIDs. So now like every section like thing of every page of my entire website has these, these IDs. And so now what I'm doing, and I'll be doing it probably like a little bit more today, uh, is um, those will be the sort of like basic relations. Um, and so now the um, the relations between the main document and the UID or the UID, the sections, um, I'm going to be sort of filling in 
And so now the thing to do is to make like a, like a document scanner or a markup scanner, I'll call it. And I have one that goes, that dates back to like, you know, 2009 or something like that. It's written in Python. And, uh, but I want to write a better one in Ruby and uh, have that actually like account for the anatomy of the document and like it'll do the sort of has part relations and 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 type the unless of course unless of course is already there and so the idea will be like you so say you have a piece of html you don't know what's in it you haven't looked yet and uh or you, you certainly don't know what's in it programmatically and you go okay well you know what metadata can we get from this without any RDFA or any kind of like, you know, explicit metadata? Like we just got, you know, the links in the header and the meta tags and, and the uh, title, etc. cetera. Um, we say, okay, so we'll try to grab that. Um, then we do a pass with RDFA, or we try to grab that, we try to also determine like, is there any RDFA in this document at all? Because if there is, then we're gonna prefer the RDFA. So then we grab, uh, so we, we do that, uh, and that also too, is we wanna do it in that pass, we also wanted to determine like, if there's RDFA in there, but there's no prefix declarations, because that's actually, you know, if you're writing stuff, this is what I've been doing a lot, is is I will write uh, stuff in uh, that is RDFA, but I won't write the prefix declarations because they take a lot of typing. Um, and I'm doing it by hand. And uh, then the, uh, so anyway, so the, we sub in, we basically find all the RDFA that's, that's in there with like minus any prefix declarations. We add the prefix declarations. Then we do a pass with the RDFA, we see what we get out of that. And if there's still nothing, then we do another pass with the, uh, or we do like a sort of a, a plump it up kind of pass with the uh, um, manipulated again, and then we run RDFA again. And that will, give us the structure. So like, for example, if the document has a link or if the document has an image or if the document has a form, or if the document has a script. Um, so if it's got a link, that's DCT references. If it's got an image, that's DCT has part. If it's got a, um, a uh, script, it's DCT requires. If it's got a form, it's something else I can't remember. Um, at the moment, but that's what the Python script does. And and the difference is, what I wanted to do is instead of doing that for the entire document, I wanted to, um, I wanted to generate the anatomy of the document and then determine the, that, but like do, like do those relations to the, to the sub, like the actual sub document part rather than the, the whole thing. And then what that'll give me is a much finer grained wad of metadata that will enable me to do backlinks. And I mean, it'll enable me, it's, you know, it'll enable me to do everything. The objective there was to um, start filling out all of the like, if it mentions a person, if it mentions a company, if it mentions a place, if it mentions a thing, if it mentions a whatever, then it'll be like, show me all the documents like down to the section that mentions or the subject is about or what have you, like this thing. That's the plan. And uh, anyway, now I'm going to finish my coffee.